but Satan works to target our beliefs. Um, he had messed with the children's minds and their beliefs. Um, listen, even in the Garden of Eden, Satan came after Eve's beliefs. Um, all the enemy wants you to do is change your belief system, y'all. All depression has to do is get you to doubt. All anxiety has to do is get you to worry. All you have to do is continue to turn and bad cycles of unbelief. Unbelief, y'all, had caused God's children to wander, wonder, and become distracted. Mm, that seemed like enough right there, but it ain't over yet. The bad cycling continues for their distractions led most to a case of desperation. Desperate. You know what, y'all? My wife and I used to watch a show some years ago called Desperate Housewives. Boy, they all lived on this pretty little street and did some of the ugliest stuff you ever seen in life, y'all. Listen, they were slipping and tipping, lying and crying, stealing and killing. And I mean, they were off the chain. Some of us been off the chain, too. You see, when you're desperate, your living is dangerous. You know, you're liable to do anything. Desperation is having a hopeless sense that a situation is so bad that it appears impossible to deal with. You don't see a way out. But things just don't end in desperation. Desperation ends in defeat, even until the point of death. I did tell you that a generation had to die out because of unbelief, amen. And that's where the children of Israel were before Joshua chapter 1. That's when no country was afraid of them or their God, and the Israelites were afraid their God had left them to fend for themselves. That's when they doubted, became distracted and desperate, felt defeated and left for dead. Listen, y'all, unbelief Doubting God will have you moving in bad circles and developing some bad cycles, y'all. But thanks be to God, belief have a cycle too. 